Hey guys, I'm just going to talk about priming versus non or self priming versus non self priming filters. Both of these two are they are this one is the Aquion, this one is Aqua Clear. And what self priming purge means is that as long as there's some water in your filter, uh, it will start right back up. So if your electricity goes out like mine did today, you uh, once the electricity turns back on, the filter will start itself up, it'll prime itself, and it'll, it'll work again. Whereas a non self priming one, uh, the electricity goes out. Once it turns back on, it will just kind of sit there and try to get the water to go, but it won't actually do anything. And it can actually uh, kill your, it can actually kill your filter. It pretty much burns up the engine, uh, the the motor, which is the problem. I had a Marineland Penguin 100 on my solar tank. And the power went out, and and I wasn't there to unplug the filter. And when I came home, it was dead. The filter died on me. It just made a tiny bit of noise and would not do anything else. So I guess the moral of the story is it's better to go with a self-priming filter over a non-self-priming filter. And these two are good examples of self-priming filters. The Aqua Clear, which is going to be your best hang on back filter, in my opinion. And your Aquion, which is not a bad filter either, just not as good as the Aqua Clear. And Marine Land, which I thought was a very good filter, is apparently not if your electricity goes out. I'm kind of screwed on that. So that's just a very quick comparison of self-priming versus non-self-priming. Alright, thanks for watching. Hair yourselves a good one. Goodbye.